It's an honor. It's an honor to be here to share with you two poems. The first one is titled Grenade. There's no rehearsal to turn flesh into dust so quickly. A hair trigger, a cock hammer in the brain, a split second between man and infamy. It lands on the ground. A few soldiers duck, and the others are caught in a half run. And one throws himself down on the grenade. All the watchers stop. A flash, smoke, silence. The sound fills the whole day. Flesh and earth fall into the eyes and mouths of the men. A dream trapped in midair. They touch their legs and arms, their groins, ears and noses, sand. What happened? Some are crying. Others are laughing. Some are almost dancing. Someone tries to put the dead man back together. He just dove on the damn thing, sir. A flash, smoke, silence, the day blown apart. For those who can walk away, what is their burden? Shreds of flesh and bloody rags gathered up and stuffed into a bag. Each breath belongs to him. Each song, each curse, every prayer is his. Your body doesn't belong to your mind and soul. Who are you? Do you remember the man left in the jungle? The others owe their lives to this phantom. Do they feel like you? Would his loved ones remember him? That little part or stature erected in his name didn't exist. And does it enlarge their lives? You wish he had lied down in that closed coffin. Not wander the streets or enter your bedroom at midnight. The woman you love should never understand. Who would? You remember what he used to say. If you give a kite too much strain, it'll break free. That unselfish certainty. But you can't remember when you began to live his unspoken dreams. The second poem is entitled Soliloquy. Heavy metal soliloquy.
After night long, white hot hellfire of blue steel, we rolled into Baghdad, plugged into government issued earphones. Here in Hard Rock, the drum machines wrapped up guitars, roared in our heads. All their gods were crawling on all fours. These bloated replicas of horned beetles drew us to the targets as if they could breathe and think. The turrets rotated 360 degrees. The infrared sculpts could see through stone. There were mounds of silver in the oily dark. Our helmets were the only shape of the world. Lightning was inside of our titanium tanks, and the music was almost holy. Even if blood was now leaking from our eardrums. We were moving to a predestined score as bodies slump under the bright heft and weight of thunderous fallen sky. Locked and shield off from desert sand. In equatorial eyes, I was inside a womb. A carmine world caught and a limbo, a finger on the trigger. Getting ready to die. Getting ready to be born. Thank you.